The Palestinian behavior is such that we have to reconsider Oslo uh, because, as it seems, the real Palestinian strategy is to uh, betray the peace process altogether, uh, to escape the peace process and to try to gain Palestinian state unilaterally. Palestinian state without peace, without security, without end of the conflict, without end of all claims and demands. And this is uh, fundamentally against the very essence of the peace process altogether. And would that include any kind of economic moves against the Palestinians, either with it back again with the issue of salaries or with something else? I think so. Look, until now, we were very cooperative. Uh, and we cooperate uh, with, the, cooperate with the Palestinian Authority in order to help them to build their inst institute, in order to help them to build their economy. And really, since Netanyahu took power, we uh, 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 announced the uh, economic peace approach and the Palestinian economy was uh, booming. And even standard of living in the West Bank was improving dramatically. If the Palestinians are now trying to gain a Palestinian state without ending the conflict, then I think we have to react. And uh, in my view, it's almost impossible to think that we will continue to help them and to cooperate with the Palestinian authorities, with the Palestinian uh, uh, economy, like nothing happened. Is there any specific measures that you're already thinking of? Yeah, of course, like for example, uh, delaying the uh, uh, delivery of tax money as the previous Israeli governments did in the past. But isn't there a danger for us if the PA collapses? There were a number of, of economic reports that spoke about the fragile state of the PA economy. Yeah, first, uh, we did it in the past. And they didn't collapse, although they went on the verge of, 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 uh, of, of collapsing. And uh, maybe there is such a danger. I don't see the Palestinian Authority collapsing so fast. And did you speak with them about America cutting off aid also to the Palestinians? Some senators, prominent senators, mentioned it, that this will be their attitude if the Palestinians will, uh, uh, will proceed unilaterally. And uh, personally, I think that this is the right thing to do. Don't forget that the American assistance to the Palestinian Authority was only, uh, 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 or mainly in order to promote peace uh, uh, for both Palestinians and Israelis. Uh, the whole basic of it was that we are going, the whole idea of peace is going bilaterally and not unilaterally. It seems now more and more that Abu Mazen, Khmer Abbas, real strategy. Maybe it was so even in, uh, under Arafat. But today it, it is more appearing, especially after his article in the New York Times a few months ago. What he was saying in the New York Times, Abu Mazen? He was saying, let's have a Palestinian state and continue the conflict with Israel as a state. So I said, we will continue the negotiation, we will continue to raise our demand for the right of return, and this will be subject to further negotiation. In other words, he said, let's have a Palestinian state without ending the conflict with Israel. And this is, of course, something that uh, Congress and administration uh, never uh, supported. And do you support the quartet proposal? Well, we have to examine it, but there is one thing good in it that it is actually calling the two sides for, uh, to resume negotiation without preconditions. And this is exactly uh, our basic uh, uh, attitude as the Prime Minister put so clearly in his speech in the UN. Great. Anything else you wanted to add? Okay. <laughs>